I worked with her once. I'm not going to tell you where, but it was for a certain airline company. And she had retarded eyeballs, one pointing in this direction, one pointing in that direction, and an enormous pig nose with small amounts of nostril stubble. And there was fine hairs, fine hairs under the nose, like a treasure trail of cheats. And big, big as in wide, clam-like lips. Thin, but thick at the same time. And razor sharp teeth, ready to shred you apart for any deference or difference that you might demonstrate. Absolutely hideous humanity. Big cuboid ears. Oh, absolutely disgusting. And then tight hair, tight but large, hanging over us like a scorched tire. Very tight curls. Very, very, very tight curls. The kind that can only be achieved using some sort of other product, a non-natural process, an NNP. And she had curls that were just pointless and self-sustaining like some sort of virus. And she had a wibbly wobbly neck and really big broad shoulders that stretched down too far and narrowed to too thin a point for such fat muscular arms on a box, box body. And this is all in an airline uniform. This is all in an airline uniform over big unhappy box boobs but this would pull tight across that cleavage and never seem to meet and many of the button were lost and pinged out and the shirt coming together just about covering a vaginal cavity of a belly button shirt pushed together with straining buttons that cried distraction unhappiness the task they're asked to perform. I'm not going to tell you what this person's name is and I won't be pushed, but everybody who knows me well when I have a glass of wine or two will tell you that this personage is somebody who I consider to be the dregs of humanity. And this person doesn't work for Ryanair or for the handling agency Service Air. She works for a proper airline. Fat and cruel and mean. And she had Short, for such a long body shit, short, fat, triangular legs. And a trickle of piss was known to run down her leg when she was amused. And that's true. She wore big shoes. <laughs> big stylus shoes that looked like they'd been carved from the trunk of a tree. Now, After the smoking ban was passed, she'd sit at her desk eating a cheeseburger and smoking a cigarette, chewing and smoking, sucking the smoke through the food and blowing it into the extractor fan above her head. And this did not suit her at all, because as everybody knows, squares, diamonds and stripes only highlight the physical degeneracy of the individual. Whereas circles, lozenges and and twists are more sympathetic. And they were just like hooves. They had no style or authenticity to her choices of shoe. They were just planks of wood, literally bolted onto to hooves. But her tears weren't tears of the genuine sadness that one would ever pity. They were the tears of a selfish person. Like the millionaire serial killer who drops his crystal ball. Awful. And she had bags. Selfish bags. And, and a quadruple chin. Which should have been here in the drawing. Actually, I can put it in by redacting a little bit. I can use this redactive tool, these labels, to just you know, to change the shape of her head. Just a bit. And just, to, just give a wibbly walk there. There we are. Yeah, that's more or less her. There she is. 